Let's go ahead and assess it. Then I'll kind of go from there. Well, it was up and down. I, you know, I told the team afterwards. I thought our highs were really good tonight and some of the best volleyball we've played this season, but we we couldn't sustain that level and our lows were too low where it would cause another point. I thought our our errors kind of multiplied at times where we got to stop runs earlier, but it, it certainly wasn't for a lack of effort. I thought we played really hard. Um, it was a good tactical match. I thought we made some good adjustments quickly. Our players were making good adjustments. Um, but, you know, we had control of that set for and, and let it slip away, just letting errors pile on top of each other. Yeah, 21-16, did you feel like you really had it where you wanted it in the fourth set? Well, I mean, that's a good score at 21-16, but I mean, it's a good team. So you never have it until you've scored that final point. And I don't think our team relaxed. We just didn't keep making adjustments. And when one air piled on top of each other, I think we panicked a little bit. They don't disguise what they're going to do. They go right to Jacobson, especially when they're in rotation. And she's, she's really, really good from, that, from their left side. Um, anything you could have done different in hindsight now that you know, to get her out of her rhythm and so forth, especially when, she, when she's on that left side? Yeah, I mean, they, she's just going to bring it at you and alter her shots. And so you can't do just one thing to defend her. Um, I thought we continued to adjust throughout the match, and so did she. And so, yeah, we weren't able to slow her down. We were commit blocking. We were taking line. We were taking cross. We were picking up tips. And then she'd hit a different shot. She's, she's a very good player, and we got to defend her better uh, if we see them again. Well, I thought your little two backdoor players did a phenomenal job of getting to the stuff she was throwing through. I mean, they, they were both on the floor and just taking shots. Um, and I don't know, you, like you said, effort, but I don't think you could get anything more from those two. And yeah, I thought, what she was I thought McKenna Meyer had her best match of her career yeah. by far. Um, she played very well tonight. She was able to handle, at times, half the court, and we were channeling balls to her. and. Um, she really dug a lot of balls tonight and was excellent in serve receive, was just a great senior leader and really played an excellent match tonight. Do you feel you ever got into a good uh, rhythm up front offensively? Not throughout a match. There, we would go in a stretch of good rhythm. Um, I thought Alex got in a good rhythm where we were able to find her um, pretty consistently. but. Um, we, we just couldn't sustain it. They would adjust, we'd hit the same shot, and then, then we would lose it a little bit um, before we'd find another rhythm. Is it fair to say part of that is they have one, two, three, five people with five, uh, five people with double figures and digs. So whoever they were throwing back that they were getting, I think they were, and they just been, I don't, I don't seem to think they were diving or on the floor as much, they were, they were in the right spots. Yeah, I mean, they're a good defensive team. I think the fact that it's, well balanced on their side with five defenders is that we're moving the ball around and we were pretty well distributed with our offense so we're going to be hitting different angles and tipping different balls and um, so you don't want to see the libero having 35 digs on you and and nobody else digging balls what uh, what will you have to do and what do you see different between now and saturday well, very different matchup on saturday in terms of the tactical adjustments so that's what tomorrow will be spent on is kind of moving past this match quickly. Our focus tomorrow will be completely on North Dakota. We'll circle back to this match and some of the adjustments we need to make on Monday uh, when we have a little bit more time to practice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that we'll make some of those adjustments and handle some of those situations a little bit better. I have a, a list of things that are growing opportunities for us, not necessarily things we did wrong, just where things we can get better at by November if we see that team again. This question probably should have been before. You had, you had six aces on the night, but five of them came in the first match. And you've mentioned in the last week, couple more than once, about serving aggressively and being, you know, advantageous back there. Man, that first set it was almost exactly like you couldn't have planned it better. And then, and then, I don't know if they made great adjustments because I think your service, your serves were still very good, uh, low, almost. And I, when I can see you, I'm almost watching where you're asking for them to serve to, and they're almost right on to a point. Did they make huge adjustments after that to, to defend your serve? I thought each set was slightly different. So in set one, we served very aggressive and got some aces. Set two, we went soft and were not very good serving-wise. And I mean, that showed in the score. 
you set, soft, explain it to me. We just went too easy. I mean, the ball was right on their platform okay. where they're putting it in system. Okay. Um, and so we talked about that at the break. I thought in set three, that's on me. We served tactically incorrect. We were serving the wrong people in the right, wrong rotations. Mm -hmm. um, that I thought we served aggressive, which is what I asked them to do, but I wasn't making the right serving calls in, in set three. And then I thought in set four, we served tough again. We, I think that's why we had control was our, our serve.